Hello and welcome to British Academy. So, literally a day ago, I received that mail that Python in Excel is available to all users in the beta channel. And it is for Excel 365, for Office 365. So, what I did was the following I bought Office 365. Let's see whether I'll keep it. And I went immediately to here, account. And here is the exact place actually. Uh, Microsoft 365 change channel and you should select the beta channel and check for any up and apply updates then click OK and then once you have done this you need to go to file again to account and then simply update now wait for the update you're up to date and then tada just go to uh, formulas and you see this beauty here, Python in Excel and Python. So you can click Python in Excel and as you see this immediately. What you can do is pretty much a lot of stuff you can declare. For example, something like this, you can easily press enter uh, and say, okay, for example, print uh, my value sum is, okay. A plus A, something like this, and then control enter, and you'll see it busy here, but somewhere here you would see 2000, I hope. Come on, Excel, yeah, control enter, yes. I have no idea why this showed up, but okay. Uh, okay, it's different depending on the sheet, yeah. Uh, yeah, Let, let's let's start with a new one actually. Okay, blank workbook, and once again, you click print, and here you click this beauty, and you can declare a variable as I said, two thousand for example. Pressing enter and say print if uh, my sum is 2000 to the power of 2 and let's see how much time it would take Microsoft and Excel to calculate okay my sum is 2002 yeah, okay shouldn't be like this let's try it this way okay 4000 yeah that's a way better and you can delete it what can we do further is pretty much the following, delete here and insert Python and try some of the samples. For example, this one, linear regression. And tada, the linear regression is present. I mean, you see it, it isn't, it even has like Seaborn. So it has the iris set sample, which is an interesting one. And we can do a lot of stuff. For example, let's see whether we can joke a bit with everything yeah the linear regression is not that great and if we do yeah, something like this one to four the linear regression should be mm, recalculated not a linear regression it's a dot because one to four is depending to one to four yeah you can do other stuff make correlation metrics insert sample just seeing and we have a lot of interesting stuff what's the correlation between sepal length and sepal length of course the correlation between these two is one that's great yeah makes sense i mean usually the correlation in the between two values in themselves is one but for example petal width and petal length we see a really good positive correlation here almost a one and if we want to joke with the correlation a bit we can change stuff but no reason for this we can create a skater plot here yeah pretty much anything i'm even curious whether we can i don't know calculate something fancy let's see pi now it should be pi like this Oh yeah, exactly, pi, and then 
and then uh, parentheses so it's like pi and control enter to commit the code I'll try something I'll say a equals 5 and then I'll can I define a function my function a return a plus 3 and then call my function a let's see what will happen 8 yeah it actually returned value that's miracle <laughs> and it returned the correct value that's something I wouldn't have been wouldn't have expected and even I can print stuff here for example I'm using enter print a and control and enter and I'm printing 5 I'm returning 8 let me try something else by I'll try to to write the recursive function for a factorial so def my factorial a if a equals one or um, let's say a equals mm, zero and we're writing in Python not in anything else then we would say here one two three four return one then mm, else let's put a while here I mean it even had like a help with something wow impressive while yeah a bigger than one mm, we can say ten factorial Increased with uh, a enter a minus equal one. Yeah, that makes sense. And here we say return then factorial, and we have to assign ten factorial with something. Wait. Uh, that's the first book if you press escape it doesn't work uh, I'll rewrite everything again let's okay I just finished it let's see whether it's correct one okay I have it I have it and let's see mm, I'll say factorial of five that's something I guess I know it's thinking too much yeah, walk over I have a factorial reference before assignment, really. Yeah. How about this one? Return. And then control and enter. Yeah, walk over I have a factorial reference before assignment. Okay, it should be like returns here okay I have admitted I was copying some code from from Vitus Academy something with BBA with C function and stuff returns should be without like this yeah let's see yeah five uh, I doubt this factorial out of five is five let's see let's think about why is it not working <laughs> I'll do this and now the funny question can we okay if it is 0 return 0 if it is 1 return 1 and if it is anything else 
then return factorial a minus 1 plus a minus 2, let's see, 5. Okay, if I say factorial of 7, and factorial of 7, is it 13? Let me check. Definitely not. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's debug once more. Return. Let's print stuff here just to see the debugging. And here, okay. Beauty 765. Mm -hmm. Yo, lots of stuff are printed. Good that we haven't received anything. Let's think about something else then. Uh, what can it be? Okay, so after lots and lots and lots of debugging, this is the correct way to write a factorial. How do I know? Because when I write 5, it returns. It gives me... It used to give me uh, 120. Let's see whether it will give me 120 now. Line 3. Okay. Okay, I know the error. It's not this one what I'm fixing, it's this one. Let's see. The thing is that it would give me 120. And if I copy this one and paste it here like this, then I will go up here in write equal pi. And I say not 5, but let's say out of 6, it should give me 120 times 6, around 720. And I'll say that this is, wow, actually, something that people can use. Yeah, so, so far so good. Uh, there would be more coming as far as I have to, like, uh, uh, I have bought the optional way, optional adding of Office 365. So at least for a month, I'll be providing videos like this. And yes, enjoy, enjoy Python, do your best, and let's see what we can do further. Have a great day.